Welcome to the strange world we're finding ourselves in right now. This is Robert Sachs um, from Diamond Way Ayurveda, but some of you might know me from various other titles that I've done over the past. I want to show you all a very, very simple exercise that you can do, uh, especially if you're feeling congested in your lungs, if you have emphysema, if you have asthma, if you are concerned about this uh, COVID-19 uh, virus, and you're trying to find ways in which you can keep your lungs um, freer, more open, uh, an exercise you can do to calm things down. And this involves an understanding of a, a few things from Oriental medicine, from Chinese medicine, and from Ayurveda. You don't need to know these things. I just need to share you what's important in order to do this particular exercise. In Chinese medicine, it is said that the acupuncture meridians related to the lungs are in your thumbs. And therefore, uh, when you do things that where you get bumped or when you get bruised or when you stimulate your thumbs, um, this has an effect on your lungs. There are also in Chinese medicine and Chinese philosophy, as well as in Ayurveda and a lot of the Eastern meditative traditions, things that are called mudras, where you take your hands and place them in various positions. Now, those positions do have sort of like a psycho-spiritual dimension, but they have a very definite health dimension as well. So for this particular exercise, all you need to be able to do is sit comfortably or lie comfortably, in fact. You can do this lying down or, or sitting up. Either way is fine. And the first thing you're going to do is first let your tongue rest behind your top front teeth. When you do that, then it's where you would say the word cluck. So your tongue is resting there, and that creates a gap in your jaw so that there's more cerebrospinal fluid moving, and it makes the exercise you're about to do more effective. Then, just doing that, all I want you to do is take your hands and place your thumbs to your index fingers. Now, the index fingers relate to the large intestine. And the large intestine lungs are connected in what's called the metal element in Chinese medicine, or the alum element in Ayurveda. And what you're gonna do is just place your thumbs gently against the tips of your index fingers, and then just rest. And I'm gonna go back a little bit so you can see more. Just rest them on your knees, okay? Just rest them on your knees. So if you're laying back, your hands, your hands will be to your sides or resting on your legs. In this situation, they're resting on my knees. Your feet could be on the ground. That's perfectly fine. And all you then do is just breathe in and out very gently. You don't try and regulate your breathing like pranayama or some kind of breathing exercise. All you're wanting to do is just to breathe in and breathe out naturally. And what you'll observe with your hands in this position as you breathe in and out is that your lower lungs just begin to move more. Okay, the lower lobes of your lungs. And you might even feel like your lungs are pressing down against your diaphragm. And all you do is do that for about two, three minutes. Nothing else to do. Then what you do after that is just take your fingers and fold them in. So you're making loose fists. Your thumb is still connected to your index fingers. And all you're doing again is just breathing in and out very naturally. Just in and out. And as you do that, what you might observe, just breathing in and out, is that the middle lung begins to expand outwards as you're doing that, just breathing in and out. And strangely, what happens is a different part of your lung is being activated just by changing the position of your hands. 
And you do that for two minutes. And then you're going to take your thumbs and wrap them with your other fingers. Okay, your thumbs are wrapped by your other fingers. And you rest your hands on the bed, on your legs, on your knees. And again, you breathe. And you breathe very gently, not trying to strain one way or the other. And as you're doing that, you might notice that the upper portion of your lungs begin to rise up a bit and down and up and down very, very easily. So another two or three minutes just like this. And then take your hands after that two or three minutes and place them around your navel with your fingers pressed against each other. You might have seen various uh, images of Buddhas with their hands in this position. Because what this does is it accesses all of your entire lung. So if you see what I'm doing, and I'll move up more closely so you can see this, my fingers are pressed up against each other. And again, I'm just going to rest like that for another two or three minutes. And I can feel every bit of my lung is being used as I do that. So two or three minutes, my thumbs are wrapped by my other fingers. The backs of my fingers are pressed up against each other. My hands are around my navel area. After two or three minutes, I'll then release my hands from each other and rest my hands back on my knees or on my legs beside me on the bed, however they are. I breathe like that for another two to three minutes. After that, I will then go back to the other position where I have my thumb touching my index finger and my other fingers wrapped up. I'm now just focused on the middle area of my lungs. And they're expanding outwards naturally, and then finally I just release my fingers and just go with my index fingers touching my thumbs, just breathing in and out. And then release. So if you think about it, you have four positions about two to three minutes each. So it could take you eight to 12 minutes and then eight to 12 minutes down. So it could take you as little as 15 to 16 minutes or 24 minutes. You might wanna put on some very nice music and just be able to just breathe and relax and imagine that you're really exercising your lungs as you're listening to beautiful music. It's best not to watch TV or do anything else that's too discursive or too active in that way. And just focus like this. This exercise was introduced to us by Dr. Vasant Ladd many, many years ago. And what he did was he shared that as a way of helping people with emphysema, people that had lung difficulties. So that's the exercise I would like to share with you today. I hope this was useful. And if you have any comments, you can always get a hold of us at diamondwayayurveda.com. Thanks so much. And I hope this helps every one of you in these uncertain times.